My, 26F, younger sister, 21F, blames me for her marriage not working out after I exposed the truth about her cheating husband. I am so hurt by this and don't know what to do or how to help her leave this man. Hi Reddit, hopefully I have the right subreddit and flair here. Please tell me if my formatting is wrong. Wasn't sure if this belongs in infidelity or personal issues? So, my sister Maria met a boy when she was 19, Chris, who was 24 at the time. They dated secretly for a while, as my parents are pretty strict and would not have approved of the relationship, as they wish for all of their children to focus on their studies more than relationships at this age. Dating was never forbidden in our household, growing up we had free will to date however our parents would always express that disapproval. This kept my sister from revealing who she was dating and as a result I had no idea until it all came out of the bag a year into their relationship, when my parents finally found out Maria had a boyfriend. This is where it gets kind of confusing so ask me anything if it doesn't make sense. When I found out who Maria's boyfriend was, I immediately knew who he was. He dated a friend of mine, who has since passed away, for two years in his earlier 20s 20 to 21 and after dating for two years, my friend found out he had been cheating on her the whole time with another woman. It was this big dramatic situation and sadly a year later my friend got into a silly driving accident and was deleted. After I found out Maria was with Chris I was conflicted about whether or not I should tell Maria. Maria never knew my friend and I guess that Chris did not choose to indulge his cheating history. He was harmful towards my friend and narcissistic, manipulating, a true sociopath or whatever words could fit here to describe someone who cheated for two years snuck around and lied to their partner and led a complete double life. In the end I chose to sit down with Maria and tell her. As I predicted, she had no idea. Chris had never told her about any past history of cheating. She seemed to not quite believe me, and hinted that we will never truly know because my friend has passed away and cannot be here to say these things. She said she believed I was being genuine but expressed doubts at my claims and said she couldn't imagine Chris doing anything like that. When she confronted Chris, he denied it at first. However, many others stepped forward to back up the story. Maria no longer really believed him and Chris eventually confessed but downplayed it heavily. However, she chose to disregard it apparently because it was in his past and he would never ever do something like that to me. To everyone's complete shock, Maria and Chris became engaged after only a year of dating. My parents were very upset and I was too. I thought she was making a huge mistake for various reasons and I could not fathom why she would want marriage at such a young age. I understand some people marry young and make it work. Hats off to those people. But for Maria, it seemed all wrong. She is still growing in a lot of ways moving past her teenage years, doesn't have a job yet or anything, is quite immature in many ways and has not really developed too much as a person from 18 to 21. And so it felt so strange she was getting married. Strange and wrong especially with Chris. The engagement was short and my parents couldn't do anything to stop it, neither could I. My mom suggested cutting her off but my dad wasn't having that. He said children make mistakes and this is not the time to abandon Maria. All of us could see disaster coming but Maria refused to listen to us. My father did not give his blessing, after e-earning of Chris's past history of cheating and lying and other questionable things such as an arrest record, anger issues, and his fanaticism with Christianity. Chris is a hardcore Christian apparently to the extreme. He controls what Maria wears sometimes and only dated Maria after confirming she was a zero-time romancer. After learning all this and more my father was disturbed and refused to give his blessing. And this angered my sister greatly and she blamed me. Flash forward to the night before the wedding day. I sit down for one last candid conversation with her. I wasn't going to hold anything back. I told her straight up he was a liar and a cheater and a manipulator and an abuser. He would cheat on her not might. Not could. I said he will most definitely cheat on you. Harsh I know but I was desperate. She appeared to take in my words but they were so blunt I think she was in too much shock to let it soak in and instead pretended our conversation never happened. They get married and move in together and Maria distances herself from all of us. Well, a year later, it is revealed that Chris had been cheating on Maria the whole relationship with another woman. The same woman he cheated on my deceased friend with. 
Maria found out after many months of paranoia and doubts filling her mind, causing her to snoop in his Facebook and discover the affair and all of the details. She called the woman and the woman confirmed everything and provided evidence. She said her and Chris had been romantically involved since high school and that she had just accepted she would never be the real woman in his life. Maria was devastated and shocked. She went through denial at first, until she could no longer deny the truth anymore. She came to me with all of this and opened up at how her one-year marriage had been plagued with suspicions and paranoia. She suspected he was cheating, refused to believe it. He would never do that, somehow, she turned it around on me. She blames me for putting those doubts in her mind, for bringing suspicion and paranoia into her relationship. She told me you should have never told me about his past. I was shocked and asked aren't you glad you knew and found out about his true ways she only stared blankly and told me that I interfered in her relationship and now she is so miserable and hurting so badly and somehow it is partly my fault. Not entirely your fault, but please admit you do share some of the blame for my misery and despair these past couple years. Direct quote she said as she was sobbing and I was trying to comfort her. I was so mad and upset I told her this is not my fault. Please leave my apartment which I feel very bad for her but I could not contain my anger. I haven't spoken to her in weeks but according to her friends Maria has not been dealing well with this and wants Chris back. However, things are complicated now with this other woman, who is apparently putting her foot down hard and telling Chris to choose. Chris is stringing along both of them. Once again I have no clue how to help my sister. I am so hurt by her accusations at me I don't know how I will repair our relationship if she believes I'm responsible for her pain and misery. I want her to leave Chris and be happy. It's all I want for her she deserves better and has always and will always be my little sister. Reddit, please help. Any advice is appreciated. TL, doctor, my sister's husband is a cheater and I am being blamed for her pain. How to get her to see the truth and leave him. And repair our relationship. Hi guys. I promise to love you if you like, comment, and subscribe. Ah, she wants him back. Now it makes sense. Someone has to be the bad guy. She wants Chris back so it clearly can't be him. Most ladies hate the other woman instead but your sister chose you. If he is narcissistic they are masters at doing something to you and convincing you it's your fault. All you can do is be the reasonable one. I doubt she'll come around, though. The fear of being alone is too strong in some people. He is probably telling her he'd never have cheated if it weren't for her sister interfering, that you drove a wedge between them from the beginning and drove him to it. It's ridiculous but that's what these guys do, make their horrible behavior the other person's fault. I hope your sister gets away from him and, once she gets her head straight, apologizes profusely to you. Me, 28M, with my wife, 27F, 5 years together. I cheated a long time ago the other woman sent me a letter. What should I do with it? Yeah I cheated, I regret it probably more than anything because of how bad I hurt my wife. It happened 3 years ago I met another woman it was during a time when me and my wife were in a bad place. I slept with the other woman 2 times I couldn't lie to my wife and just told her what happened. We ended up finding a few weeks later that she was pregnant so I decided to try hard to be a better husband. We are in a good place now, she doesn't trust me fully yet which I know will take years or never happen. She has access to all my devices so she can look whenever she wants no problem. So here's the thing, when I got the mail today and she sent me a letter I haven't opened it and don't know what to do. Should I give it to my wife or just throw it away, should I read it and show my wife or read it together or what? I don't know how to proceed and could use some help her on what to do. TL, Doctor. I cheated a long time ago I have worked hard to try and earn my wife's trust back, I got a letter from the other woman and don't know what to do with it. Best thing you can do is immediately give it to your wife unopened, very important distinction, and let her decide what to do with it. If she shreds it still unopened, so be it. If she microwaves it then slaps you with it, so be it. Kidding, but you get the point. What if it's something bad? What if my wife reads it and it just hurts her more than builds trust? What would I do if that situation happened? Since you mentioned this, I suggest not destroying or disposing of it without reading it. What if the letter is telling you that you have another child? 
better to get ahead and plan for child support than to be blindsided by a summons or garnishment. I, 22F, found out that my boyfriend, 26M, is married to another woman and I do not know what to do. He came here from India when he was 18, and I met him when I was 18 and he was 22. I'm white. We started dating. Yesterday, while he was sleeping, I found an ex from some woman on his phone. I later found out that he is married, and used me as a side chick. What should I do? We lease an apartment together, his wife isn't yet ready to come to US due to visa poop and their child. How do I do this? I know Indian families are tight and this affair can cause a huge fight. TLDR, I am a side chick to my boyfriend. What do I do now? Yes you are a side chick, leave that butt behind, you deserve better. So sorry. If you can, tell his wife. Is he planning to marry you? If so, you can notify us, as the US agency responsible for visas, and or email the US embassy in India and say, hey, he's sponsoring someone as his wife, but he's planning to marry me. If they need to, they'll investigate.